the work of conservative force does not change the mechanical energy of the system, where we know that a conservative force is a force for which the work done is independent of path, and we know that the mechanical energy of an object, E mech, is the sum of an object's kinetic energy and its gravitational potential energy. And we can demonstrate this with a simple example of a ball that is thrown vertically upwards with an initial velocity of 10 meters per second. It is a two kilogram ball and we can use the equations of motion to determine that it will reach a maximum height of 5.10 meters. This is obviously in the absence of air friction. Now what we can do here is we can start by calculating the initial kinetic energy of this object. We know that kinetic energy is one half times the mass of the object multiplied by its initial velocity squared. In this case that is one half times two times negative ten squared which gives us an initial kinetic energy of 100 joules. Now what we can see here is we can see that when this object reaches its maximum height we can see that since there is no motion or there is no velocity that would clearly mean that there is no kinetic energy. Now since we know that gravity is a conservative force we can see that this energy has not been lost but only converted into another form and we can show that with potential energy where at the start of this object's motion its initial potential energy is the product of its mass multiplied by gravitational acceleration multiplied by its height above the ground mass of two kilograms gravity of 9.8 and it started on the ground so its initial potential energy was zero and we can very clearly see at the end though when its kinetic energy is zero we can see that since it now does have a certain height above the ground it will very obviously have a certain amount of gravitational potential energy and that is an amount of 99.96 joules of gravitational potential energy so what we can see here is that our amount of mechanical energy at the beginning is equal to the amount of mechanical energy at the end obviously the slight difference here is as a result of the rounding that takes place and we can demonstrate that that is as a result of the work that is done by the gravitational force with our formula which says that the work done by the gravitational force is equal to the product of the gravitational force the displacement of the object and the cosine of the angle between them where the force of gravity is 19.6 newtons the displacement is 5.1 meters and since these are in opposite directions we can see that the force of gravity does a negative amount of work negative 99.96 joules so what this shows us is it shows us that the force of gravity does negative work on this object which we would normally associate with energy being removed from the system but because Gravity is a conservative force, that energy is not removed, but merely transformed into another form, transformed from kinetic energy into potential energy. And we know that if this object were allowed to continue in its motion, we know that that potential would decrease as the kinetic increases as this object starts to fall back down to the Earth. And so what this gets us to is a form of conservation of energy which tells us that in the absence of non-conservative forces the energy of the system will not change which means that the initial mechanical energy will be equal to the final mechanical energy in the system for as long as there are no non-conservative forces acting.